Now, for the presentation, um, this presentation, it's okay. For the next presentation, if you are graduating, hopefully with COVID and all, you will get to go physically or not physically. You still have to be dressed nice. If you are going in the second, after this semester over, you're getting out of the university, graduating, getting interviews, and you want me to comment on how you should look like at an interview, I'll be happy to do so. I've been doing this for 12 years and it's been extremely successful. The students love it. Uh, so you can dress up the second presentation as if you're being interviewed and I'll tell you not public, I'll have to send you an email. Well, if you're dressed suit and nice, I'll just throw a word, very nice, right? That doesn't mean the one I didn't talk to is dressed very bad. It's just you caught my attention and I'm saying very nice. Um, now, for the ladies, because of uh, computer, I cannot smell through the computer. Please, for presentations or, or interviews that are public, try to not to put strong cologne, just very little um, and um, easy on the makeup. Okay? This is, some people are still old fashioned, believe it or not. I used to have a postdoc that I ended up firing. Um, in the U.S., they used to think any female that has manicure on her hand, um, like the nail polish or uh, makeup, uh, she's not a scientist. <laughs> I'm like, tell this to Madame Curie, man. You get slapped twice. <laughs> um, whatever you know, you don't know Madame Curie. Madame Curie is the only one of five, I think, scientists worldwide that won the Nobel Prize in science twice. Okay? Not once, twice. And there are five or six, maybe six, maybe five that won it, including Bardeen. He's one of the five. Um, and she was a female. So um, it's just when you go inside an interview, you don't want the cologne smell to overcome and the dress to overcome what you're there to present. Okay? There are people that will put this against you. Um, uh, like I had... I've been sued by my old tenant, uh, old not tenant, um, I was the tenant. I got exposed to asbestos and he he did not disclose it for me. Apparently he's a lawyer, he knows the judge. I lost the case, I lost like $40,000 here in Canada, which was, if it was in the US, I'll be living on $20 million now. And I have two little girls that were exposed. I even asked him before I checked in the house, is there asbestos? And he wrote me, not that I know of, we had it checked, zero. But there was tons of asbestos. It came out from the wall during the duct cleaning and we end up sniffing it. So anyway, I left the house, I lost it. But my my lawyer was a student lawyer. She came with miniskirt. And all the judge was looking, didn't pay any attention. First, somebody told me because the owner was a lawyer from the same court, no matter what, you lost the case already. But I didn't know that. It's okay. But she was distractive. Even her colleague told her to wear the jacket. So you go to an interview, you want them to take you for your brains, not your looks. Okay? Um, it is important. And I will give privately these kind of things. I'm not going to embarrass anybody in public in front of the group. Okay, um, so like I said, if I say you're nice dress or nice uh, suit, that doesn't mean your colleague doesn't have, uh, it's just I don't have time to say nice to everybody. If you want a comment in private, I'll send you an email, but you have to send me in writing, what do you think about my, my, my uh, uh, dress code? Um, when you give a presentation fly in Western culture, looking at the people in the eye, not the whole time, you have to look in the eye, okay, uh, is most acceptable, as opposed to some culture, especially in the East, where looking in the eye is unacceptable, okay? That's why if you are a student and you meet somebody from a country that they don't look you in the eye, don't think that they they are not respecting you. Actually, to the opposite, that is the highest level of respect in some cultures. You keep your eyes on the ground. Not, you don't look your boss in the eye. But here in Western cultures, if you don't look in the eye, you're hiding something. 
or you're wrong or you're guilty. So try to, to look in the eye. You're in Canada, you need to learn really how things are done by various companies and they're all full of the North America culture. So let's do that. Uh, any other questions?